We have just arrived at the Elephant Nature Park. Look at all that nature right there. It's a beautiful elephant roaming freely. That's what it's about here. And today is day two. Yeah, it's the Glidecam HD. This here is what you're gonna see Black Tusk filmed on, and I'm excited to show you guys the end result. If you're not a camera guy, that probably meant nothing to you, but what you can expect is amazing looking footage for Black Tusk. It's coming from an amazingly talented videographer. It's legit. Do it. Do it. Blake is gonna be so jacked by the end of this. This rig is so heavy. All in the wrist. That's a, I'm gonna stop that movement. I sense a storm is coming. This could get interesting. I'm wanting some cinematic footage with the elephants and the storm would be really cool. I just want to Why? <laughs> I'm holding the steady cam and the expensive camera and I just about ate sh in there. Clean as a whistle. Feel your love. So they just poured some brand new sand and you can see the elephants are having a heyday over there. They are so excited. So am I. Wow. Look at that. That's so sick. So it doesn't take long for the weather to change and a storm is coming. I can hear the thunder. I haven't seen the lightning yet, but this is the perfect time for us because Everyone at the park has gone to get lunch, and now we have this to ourselves. Wow, the storms are coming down, and now we get to see these elephants enjoy a bit of rain. This is incredible. Oh, you're just getting into it. Ooh, I don't want to go to work. If that's not love, I don't know what is. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. Take a look at my elephant. Because she's the one that sits on my head. Ba -da -da -da. Look how excited they are. Look how excited they are. <laughs> they just want to get in there. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Look how excited they are! Oh, look at the babies! <laughs> I'm getting so excited here. This is quality shooting right now. The big one came in. We're just chilling in the fort. Oh my gosh. Look at the baby, he's so clumsy. <laughs> What do you want to do today, guys? Let's go down the water. Uh, eat some grass. Yeah. <laughs> He's giving his friend a back massage. <laughs> if that's not friendship goals, I don't know what is. You know what? I don't know if we're smart as people say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil, where are you? <laughs> it looks like a submarine. There's really no boundaries here. <laughs> Anything goes. Scratch your butt in my head, doesn't really matter. He's on his knees. <laughs> it all happens here at Elfin Age Park. You see it all. You know what I just noticed? Down there, there's another herd doing the exact same thing. This is such an incredible moment for me right now. This is a beautiful thing. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. So all the trainers, all the mahouts are sprinting after this elephant. I think it might have gone into a... It's... Yeah. It's making a run for it. <laughs> run! <laughs> run, Kibbles, run! <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> oh, dear.
no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you. So yesterday Derek was telling us that every single one of these elephants that are over 30 years old came from the logging industry and they've all been through the crush. And I don't think I explained it in the last vlog, but the crush is a three day process where the elephants are tied up, uh, starved, beaten, all the bad stuff, basically removed from the family so that they have no spirit. And that's the point where they become usable for tourism, for logging, basically it's the point where uh, they just give control to the human. And uh, all of them have been through that, all these elephants here. But despite such an incredibly difficult path they've, they've faced, and elephants have incredible memories, so they haven't forgotten. They're still able to live a rather normal life and move on and, and be happy here, which is a really, really cool thing of it all. <laughs> Fresh delivery. Boy, they're getting excited now. Yeah, I think it's good. The elephant was an avid glide cam user. Hey, let me calibrate that for you. Puts all like one and a half tons of his weight on it. No, I actually, I think, Luckily my screaming like a girl and the mahout running over prevented him from applying too much weight. We got spring rolls, some veggies. So we just watched a video that was provided to us by Lek and Lek is the founder of Elephant Nature Parks. So we're going to be going to meet her I think right now. Um, that is exactly why we're doing black tusk. That is the treatment the average Southeast Asian elephant receives. Even when it's finally crushed and it has no spirit left, it continues when they go into whatever industry they're brought into, logging, tourism, uh, begging. So I just had my biggest interview ever. I interviewed Lek, and Lek is like the leader of the world in elephant conservation. She was recognized in Times 2010 edition for one of the top five Asian heroes. She has met with Hillary Clinton and been recognized for her work in animal conservation. And right now she's gonna bring us to meet Kansai, I believe was the elephant's name. She's so cool. So guys, this is Lek here. Lek is kindly showing us Elephant Nature Park. Go and see the herd. Tansai? Uh, Fasai. Fasai. Uh, look at her. Oh yeah, she... Fasai. 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 Yeah, they hear you. Where are you, baby? They're making their noises. Yeah, yeah, they, they're responding already. Look how happy the elephant is. <laughs> Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. We are getting a slurp show. We're <laughs> going to town. This is so good. It's like madness and she's just in there singing a lullaby to them. It's incredible. How did you get them to be so close to you and trust you so much? Uh, you know, first thing, you have to show your love, love and then trust coming. When the trust yeah. comes, then you can be confident. Um, you have to show them that because many of them get abused. But if they get love from us, then they, they can get the trust. Then you can get money. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> 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 Papa, don't mind. It's very curious. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite the scratch. <laughs> She 
used to be very aggressive. Wow. Now she's so gentle. Yeah. Is there one elephant that you have the closest relationship with? All of them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and all of them, they know me. Yeah. And so they all have different personalities then? Oh, yes. They yeah. are so different. And that is the most jealous. And this one, very personal, very stubborn. Very stubborn. And that one, so snob. If anyone new one coming, she, they must listen to her. And she will go and interview everybody. Very nosy as well. Little boy, the black, he's so personal, but he, because he's little, he very, he very, uh, naughty. Naughty, yeah. Naughty and naughty. And this one, the mother, the mother of man, he rescued from street breaking. From street begging. So this was a street beggar before. Oh, <laughs> he's grabbing your tripod. <laughs> if you have time, yeah. today you can see I make them fall asleep lullaby. Look, she's like putting her foot on Lek. So because she's a mum, she feels like she's protecting Lek when she forces Lek underneath her. That is love right there. Hello! Uh oh, he's coming close. Hi there! Look how happy these animals are. She's getting to scratch it. Goodbye guys. That was like the perfect way to end off today. So we're gonna go now, head back to our hotel. I'm gonna start my edit for the day. Lek is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's for sure. Pretty successful day of shooting. Very successful. When I'm shooting something like Black Tusk, this is kind of new for me because we're really going out of our way to like get the perfect shot and have the perfect thing said. And that's where it gets a little more challenging. There's definitely a different pressure that comes with it. It's a really good learning experience so far. And uh, yeah, I think I'm managing both pretty well. Shooting the doc while vlogging it too. <laughs> He's very, very fat. Yeah. What's his name? Mumu. Mumu? Oh, Piggy. <laughs> uh, so Black Tusk was actually supposed to be like completely wrapped up here at Elephant Nature Park within two days. And then we'd take another day to film the not so great businesses like the circuses. But we've had a change of plans and things have gotten so much better. Black Tusk has been taken to a whole nother level. We have been invited by Derek, and again, Derek was the guy we met yesterday who was doing the interview under the elephants. And he's inviting us to join him for a overnight ride to go pick up two new elephants in Surin, which is uh, right on the border with Cambodia. So we're leaving tomorrow around 8 p.m. and we're gonna get there around five in the morning. So it's an overnight ride. We're gonna be in this massive like pickup truck that can fit two elephants and the story is just gonna get so much better. I'm just so excited. Like this is not the story that I envisioned, but that's like when the best stories occur. Oh my gosh, what is it? Story by Lek. This is beautiful. This is Lek's organization, by the way, guys. If you wanna hear more about how you can get involved, check out Save Elephant Foundation. The Save the Elephant Foundation backpack so I can carry all my souvenirs home. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Hey, how's it going, guys? We're just leaving the Elephant Nature Park. I'm 
so nice meeting you guys. Unreal. Awesome. Bye guys, enjoy the rest of your trip. All right. Yeah, that'd be a nice sunset. Day two, unbelievable, but I'm gonna start my edit for the day and there's not a whole lot more going on. We'll see you guys tomorrow for what should be the highlight of the entire trip. But until then, let's get lost again tomorrow. Gonna show us one of the coolest things you'll have ever seen. That is beautiful. <laughs>